Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Into Mobile here, and I have the Verizon iPhone 4. And I'm going to take a closer look today at Death Grip and Antenna Gate in this particular handset. Now if you notice here, I'm on Verizon 3G coverage. I have two, sometimes I get two to three bars on average in this area. Overall, the connection is decent. We're going to run a speed test test just so you can get an idea of what type of download speeds I get in my area. Right now I got latency of about 123 milliseconds and I got download speeds of about 1900-1800 kilobits per second. That is, many of you will probably point out, a lot slower than AT&T, but that's about on average what I get on Verizon Wireless. I'm happy with its performance. You know, I can stream video, download video. It's uh, just fine. It's what I've seen on the Droid X and other handsets when I've had them. We're done with this test. You can see we got average download speeds of 1800, average upload speeds of about 256, and a latency of 123 milliseconds. Now, if you notice during this test, I'm holding my handset kind of funny. I kind of have it cradled in my hands. It's not very secure. Somebody walked by or bumped me, and I could send it flying. Normally, I like to hold my handset like this. You know, it's an iPhone 4. It has glass on the back, glass on the front. You want to hold it securely. You don't want to have it kind of loosely in your hands. Uh, I hold it normally like this. Now if you look, I'm not death gripping it. I'm not holding it tightly. I'm not trying to strangle the handset. I just got it casually sitting in my hand. When I first got the phone, I noticed I'd start off at two to three bars. I'd spend some time going through my settings and kind of playing around with the phone. After about a minute or two, I noticed I had dropped down to one bar. I was really surprised that holding the phone in such a casual manner would have such a great effect on the signal strength. Now, as some of you might point out, I'm kind of interchanging signal strength with bars, and I know that's not exactly, I don't have my phone set up to give you the exact readings on signal strength. And for all we know, these one bar is just fine for making calls and finding a data connection. And I have to agree with you. I don't mind dropping a bar or two as long as it does not affect the performance of my handset. So I decided the best way to find out what is going on and what's happening when I'm holding my phone and I drop down to one bar, I'm going to run another speed test and see what happens under these circumstances. I'm going to use 3G. Now, as I said, you know, I don't mind if the bars go down as long as my handset continues to perform. And as you can see right now from what I'm exhibiting right now, we can't even get network latency right now. On the previous test, when I was not holding my phone in this manner, I was getting uh, latencies of about 133. It finally kicked in. We're getting latency of 470. And look at these download speeds. I got a maximum of 338, and I'm averaging about 80, 50 right now. It really is horrible. I have tested this over and over and over again and I can tell you that every time I hold my phone like this I experience this this slowdown. These speeds are slower than 1x RTT or right around that area and it really is unacceptable. You can't use a handset to do anything or on a smartphone at least at 98 kilobits per second. And I'm going to run up and test our upload speeds. I remember before I was getting upload speeds of about 200 kilobits per second. My download speeds were up 10 times the amount that I'm getting here on average. I was getting even more than that, getting about 1800. Right now we're still at 0% upload speed. At these speeds, the handset really is unusable uh, for at least capabilities of a smartphone. Now I can get text messages, I can get emails in, but anything above and beyond that you're going to be struggling. And what I find most interesting about this is how I'm holding my phone. I'm not, I'm holding it like anybody would. Any Verizon customer that's not aware of Antenna Gate would not realize what's going on. They would be holding their phone, they'd be using it, and they can't browse web pages because they'd be loading so slow. They can't watch YouTube videos and they, they'd either blame it on Verizon or rightly they blame it on the handset and they'd be frustrated with it when all they really need to do is put a case on it. They've shown with the GSM version that as soon as you put a case on it you prevent that contact to the side that will take care of this problem. So Verizon customers, uh, please be warned if you're experiencing poor performance of your handset, throw a case on it and see if that makes a difference. 
I'm gonna stop right here because I'm still at 0% upload speed. I can't even get out right now because of how I'm holding my phone. Let's, while we're doing this, if speed test doesn't mind, I'm gonna change the grip on my phone and let's just see what happens. I'm not gonna hold that bottom corner. I find that that corner in particular, now look, I'm up to three, three bars already once I've let go of my handset. I find that this area in the bottom in particular is what's causing the problem. You can hold the phone in any orientation as, as long as you have that little antenna covered, you're going to experience problems with your handset. Now it's still, it won't, still won't even connect. That's four kicks. Just try it again here. Now that I'm holding my phone and it, look at that. 1600 latency of 138 all because of the way I'm holding my phone it really is amazing let's see how our upload speeds do this time last test we couldn't even get any speeds here we go up to 200 240 250 even better than the first time around really is amazing that this occurs in this handset under that circumstances so like I said, iPhone owners on Verizon, go get yourself a case and prevent yourself from experiencing the death grip because it is obviously there.